The recent rumor that Prince Harry and Meghan will live separately for some time has raised another wave of claims about the couple's imminent divorce. There is no point in hurrying with such statements, as they are divorced in the press and on TV about once a week. Only official statements can be believed. As for speculating on what will happen when Meghan dumps Harry, that's fun. There is no doubt that it will be Meghan Markle who initiates the divorce, as she is the driving force in the Dukes of Sussex couple, and Prince Harry is driven and completely under her influence. It is likely that the divorce will be a surprise for him. There can be no doubt that the Duchess of Sussex is well prepared for this event. There can also be no doubt that the couple must have had a prenuptial agreement drawn up by the royal lawyers back when Harry was still listening to the sensible advice of the royal team. There's no doubt that Meghan will be divorcing loudly and will try to squeeze out the maximum. It is likely that in the process she will be forced to sign some kind of non-disclosure paper, here she will bargain to the last insisting that she will not give up the children. It's not for nothing that she took them to the US, away from the power of the royal family, because her lawyers would have to scrutinize the prenuptial agreement. Since they are royal children and under English law they belong to the crown. And there is some contradiction here. Since the Sussex children are not heirs, they can stay with their mother, but on the other hand, the Sussexes have adopted the titles of Prince and Princess for Archie and Lilibet, so it will still be King Charles III who decides their fate. Since they always try to make peace with Meghan, the children will probably be left with her or custody will be split in half, and Harry will have to pay substantial child support. But that burden will likely fall on the royal family. The prodigal prince's return to the royal family is virtually impossible. His revelations in interviews, his book and other public statements have made reconciliation with his father and brother almost impossible. He will probably lead a lifestyle similar to that of the princesses of York, i.e., a private life, attending important events in the UK. A few years of such probation may eventually lead Charles and William to believe that Harry has truly recovered from the toxicity he acquired with his wife, and Meghan will be forgotten. She'll keep giving interviews and comparing herself to Diana, she'll keep doing helpless podcasts, but the royal sufferer theme will quickly become tiresome. It's basically already happening. The carriage is turning into a pumpkin. The sadder Meghan Markle's attempts to enter political circles will be. The Duchess of Sussex's reputation at the moment is such that no one at the top of political Olympus seeks to connect with her and even her starry neighbors on the estate avoid her company. And why would she initiate the divorce? He is too dependent on her to make such a move on his own. For some time yet Meghan will enjoy the residual resources available through Harry. But how many more years can she exploit the theme of the unfortunate fortunate prince who, thanks to her, has escaped from oppression and oppression in the palace. This fairy tale has a definite shelf life and it looks like it's already coming to an end.